Hi, this is Greg Lowe again. I'm a VDC subject matter expert here at Autodesk. And I'm going to walk through setting up model coordination for the coordination effort. Um, whether it's for design coordination or construction coordination, the setup's going to be the same. And what you'll see on my screen is I am in Autodesk Construction Cloud and I'm in Docs. So I'm going to go to model coordination. And as this loads, I'm going to go to my settings. And in my settings, I have two things. I have some project information here, and then I have my coordination spaces. I want to walk through and talk a little bit about coordination spaces. So if I hit a create, what it's going to do is it's going to ask for a name. And if I call this one design coordination, What the coordination space is, that it's a, a folder that I've selected within my file structure, my folder structure, that is going to be the location where all of the models within that folder, whether they're in subfolders or in the parent folder, will come through to model coordination. So in this example, I'm doing design coordination. So I have a folder set up that's design coordination. And in that folder, I have all of my different design models and a folder for a copy of trade models if I need them. And I'm gonna select that design folder and I'm gonna hit create. That's gonna go in and create that coordination space. And now if I go back to docs, just to reinforce this, I'm gonna expand these folders out. So I have designated this design folder as my design coordination space. And inside of that folder, I have all of these other folders. And inside of each one, I have a Revit model. And I could have NWCs or DWGs. Uh, that's going to be the same. Now, if I go back to my trade coordination coordination space, if I look in here, I do have a copy of my design files. I've got an architectural and a structural model. And if I go to my mechanical, here I have all of my mechanical NWCs. Uh, maybe in this example, I've got a trade that's not using Revit. And so I'm still gathering their NWCs. Same with electrical, I've got their NWCs. And you'll notice I have them broken down by levels. Um, I typically like to break everything down by level and coordinate that specific level to keep everyone focused. I do do an all model uh, as we coordinate verticals, but uh, typically I'll go through and create uh, models for each level. Okay, so now if I go back to docs, or excuse me, to model coordination, over here at the top right, this is going to tell me which coordination space I'm in up here in the top right. And if I hit my drop down menu and I go to design coordination, that also is going to change. Now, you'll notice it's calculating clash results. I've recently published new design models and new trade models. And right now, it's running through and doing the clash detection on those. And I'll talk about that process in a later video. Okay, my models have finished processing and here I am on my models tab. One thing to keep in mind is that when you're on the models tab, these are all individual single models that are within those fold within one of those folders within my design coordination space. When you see views, think of NWFs. Uh, for those of you that are Navisworks users, think of a, a merged model uh, if you're if you were a glue user or a, um, a an aggregate model, right? Like think of views. This these are models that have been appended together. I'm going to start with models and let's build a model first. So I'm going to filter down to level one, and here I have my my design models. And let's say I want to do a design coordination with these models. So I'll hit open in viewer. Is going to go through, load those models. And essentially, this is just merging all of those models together into one complete model. Now, you'll notice up here at the top left, it says unsaved view. I'm going to change that down here at the bottom and do save view. 
and I'll call this level one design coordination. Now you'll notice there's private and public. The important thing to know with private, private is only you and project admins can open it. Public is everyone can do that. When I get into Navisworks, I'll talk a little bit about more about why this is important. For now, I'll keep this private and I'll do save view. Okay. So we've just covered coordination spaces, models, and views. And we'll get into more of the tools of model coordination in the next video.